which of the following is a biodegradable polymer? The options are PVC, Teflon, PHBV or Decron. Students, among the given options, PVC, Teflon and Decron are non-biodegradable polymers. On the other hand, PHBV is a biodegradable polymer. It undergoes bacterial degradation in the environment. It is a co-polymer of 3-hydroxybutanoic acid and 3-hydroxypentanoic acid. I am writing its structure. So, this is 3-hydroxybutanoic acid. Let us draw the structure. CH3COH C CH2COOH plus 3-hydroxy pentanoic acid which is CH3 CH2 CHOH CH2 COOH this on polymerization will give PHBV let us draw the structure O CH CH3 CH2 C double bond O O CH CH2 CH3 CH2 C double bond O. This is PHBV. That means the correct answer is option number C. Let us move to the next question, students. A mixture of N2 and O2 gases in a cylinder contains 7 gram of N2 and 8 gram of O2. If the total pressure of the mixture in the cylinder is 12 bar, then the partial pressure of N2 is. We are given with the atomic masses of nitrogen and oxygen. The atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 U and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 U. The options we are given with are 2 bar, 6 bar, 4 bar and 9 bar. So, student, let us start this question. Students, first of all, we need to know the formula to calculate the partial pressure of a gas in a mixture of gases. So, here we have to calculate the partial pressure of N2. The formula is mole fraction of N2 multiplied by total pressure. That means mole fraction of that particular gas multiplied by total pressure of the container. Here, first of all, we will be calculating the mole fraction of N2. So, mole fraction of N2 is equals to number of moles of N2 upon total number of moles of all the gases. That means number of moles of N2 plus number of moles of O2. Since we know that number of moles is equals to given mass upon molar mass. So, given mass of N2 is 7 and molar mass of N2 is 28. So, here also 7 upon 28 plus the given mass of O2 is 8 and its molar mass is 32. We can clearly see that we are given with the masses of N2 and O2. We are also given with the total pressure that is 12 bar. So, it will be 1 upon 4, 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4 which is equals to 1 upon 4 upon 1 upon 2 which is equals to 1 upon 2. So, let us put the value of mole fraction here 1 upon 2 into 12 since the total pressure of the container is 12 which is equals to 6 bar. That means the correct answer for this question is option number B. Moving to the next question students. Let us read it. Match the following and identify the correct option. Students, in this question, we are given with two columns. You can clearly see we have to identify the correct match. So, let us start. In A, we are given with CO and H2. Since we know that the mixture of CO and H2 is known as synthesis gas, so A has a match 3. Moving to next, CSO4 and MgSO4. B has a match 1. Since we know that permanent hardness of water is due to the soluble salts of calcium and magnesium in the form of chlorides or sulphates. Moving to next B2H6. 
student B2H6 is an electron deficient hydride that means C has a match to moving to last that is H2O2 student H2O2 that is hydrogen peroxide is sold in market as an antiseptic as per hydrol that means for D the correct match is 4. Now we have to identify the correct option for this question which is option number 4. A has third option, B has first option, C has second option and D has fourth option. That means the correct answer for this question is option number D. Moving to the next question students. For the reaction N2O4 gaseous gives 2NO2 gaseous, the correct option is option A delta RH greater than 0 and delta RS less than 0, option B delta RH less than 0 and delta RS greater than 0, option C delta RH less than 0 and delta RS less than 0 and the last option is delta RH greater than 0 and delta RS greater than 0. Student for this question first of all you have to consider that this is a decomposition reaction. Here N2O4 decomposes to gives 2 NO2. For this reaction delta RH is greater than 0. That means this is an endothermic reaction. Since cleavage of bond that is bond breaking requires energy as a result this will be an endothermic reaction or we can say delta RH is greater than 0. Now student let us talk about delta RS. Since we can clearly see that the number of gaseous moles are increasing as a result the delta RS is also greater than 0. That means we can say that the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question students. An element has a primitive cubic structure with unit cell edge length of 272 picometer. The atomic radius is. Students for this question first of all we need to know the relation between edge length that is A and radius of atom that is R for primitive unit cells. So here I am writing for primitive unit cell A is equals to 2 R and since we have to calculate R so R is equals to A upon 2 students we are given with the value of A which is 272 picometer so here I am writing 272 picometer that means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question students. 